What is up everyone, before uh, starting this video I just want to thank you guys for the support I've been getting on uh, Horizon Zero Dawn videos. Um, I really appreciate it, so uh, thank you. On to the video. This, this is the best weapon in the game. The Shadow Hunter bow. And there are multiple reasons for that. Because you might find this strange. Because there are so many other weapons like the Lodge weapons and the Shadow Trip Caster and the Tear Blaster. When you modify it and you put on fire coils uh, for extra fire damage or some with uh, extra handling and fire damage. You can basically set everything on fire in one or two shots. So then what makes this bow so great? In this game a lot of machines are weak to fire. Also corrupted machines. And corrupted machines are a huge a huge part of the story or the main story and you need to defeat them but not only machines are weak to fire also uh, shadow Karja or other humans enemy humans um, which catch fire with one shot of this bow elite humans need two shots to catch on fire so it's really effective this bow uh, I'll just give you a few examples of uh, machines easily catching fire because I don't have any corrupted zones left because I did it so early on with this boy. It was so easy. Um, yeah, here we go. So an easy way to combo with this is for example with the roadcaster and you can tie an, a machine down and then uh, shoot his weak points or just critical hit him and uh, he dies. That's what makes this bow so great. The only downside of this bow is though that um, basically the other two arrows become useless because you don't uh, give them any uh, boosted stats with the modifications you equip. Um, but you don't really need it when you go into cauldrons or when you do the main story. When you only account, uh, encounter um, corrupted machines and humans. And if it does become a problem you ha also have the... Um, Shadow Sharp Shot Bow to compensate with that. So yeah, I think it's the best bow in the game. Um, you should definitely, definitely try it out. You can even, um, you know, with a skill you can put two extra arrows on the bow and uh, yeah, shoot three at once. But you know, you only need one for most things to catch on fire. Everything becomes so easy when you've got this bow. So that's all. Um, I would definitely like recommend uh, checking this bow out and this uh, setup. Even if your stats of the fire coil aren't that high, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it's great with 30% too. Um, three 30% uh, modifications. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.